feel like my dad is definitely one of the strongest forces in my life that has been pushing me to educate myself and take school very seriously. He came to America from Poland without any money in his pocket and without knowing any English. So when I think about it, I just, it like blows my mind. It's such a courageous thing. David and I have been friends for a number of years on the Stanford faculty, and we found ourselves one day talking about America. As I would travel around the world, uh, the one thing that always attracted people to the United States of America was this idea that it didn't matter where you came from, it mattered where you were going. You could come from humble circumstances, you could do great things. And David, Pulitzer Prize-winning historian, found that it was this core of the essence of America that interested him, too. As you can see at a glance, uh, Condi and I are two different people. <laughs> We're not the same gender or the same race. Uh, we don't worship in the same church. We don't vote in the same political party. <laughs> but what we have in common is a shared sense of the fragility of our common purpose and common enterprise as a people. We're coming apart. We're not civil to one another anymore. Uh, our political system is so polarized. Because we do trust one another. In times like this, we need stories that remind us of the ideals that hold us together. We aspire to be a country where immigrants can find opportunity. A country where access to education can change everything. <laughs> a country that believes deeply in the notion of service and the full participation of every citizen. a country in which political opposites can bridge the divide and take on problems. Yeah. And where individual achievement and ambition can, in the best cases, raise up communities. With so much diversity, we have to bond to a common sense of what we're trying to achieve. You have to understand what the common enterprise is. You have to understand what the common aspiration is. And um, I think we've, we've lost sight of it. <laughs>